Well, hello there, I'm Ranger Kiki. Hi. And this is Hi. <laughs> so I'm going to challenge my friend here, this thing here. It, it, uh, he, he don't want to know. So I want to hand it to him. This is the first time I do believe he saw this device or the scratcher. And I want to give him uh, how long to figure it out and how to use it with this. Okay, go for it. I'm not telling you. I want to see if you can figure it out. Hey, that's how it works. <laughs> Oh, you forgot. You forgot to put that. No, it's not that. <laughs> Let's see if we can figure. Some type of webbing harness here. All right. Let me get this thing straight now so I can see it. Stretch it out just right now. It appears. I'm going to guess it doesn't have anything to do with the inside of this, right? No, it does okay. uh, This is some type of ancient compression harness to compress your, like if you got something you want to compress. That's what I'm guessing it's for. Let me well, we go ahead. Almost correct? No. It's not. It's not a compression harness. No, it's not a compression horse harness. But it goes with the outside of this, not with not the inside. Of the no, it goes on the outside. You got that part right. Okay, so. I've got to get this on there. I'm thinking. I'm really thinking of some type of compression harness, or U.S. It almost looked like it's some type of sling that you actually like a backpacking web. And that's a wild guess. Just looking at what I'm seeing here. Yep. You, you, you get it. You got now, it. If I were to do this, which this is probably <laughs> too small for me, but I'm just going to take a wild guess here. I lost it. I figured it. I knew it. I was going to lose it. But it, it would go through there, but it's a little small for me. I'm not a big person. I'm just a big person. I see the U.S. logo there, and I would think that would be toward the outside. It looks like this is for the arm straps. And then, if that's the case. this here. I'm trying to keep this nice and neat. I'm not sure how see, see, if I didn't give him this bag, he probably would be still like, trying to figure out how to use this thing. But without the bag, he'd be lost right now. Yeah. Oh. Actually, I'm still lost. i got to put this down where I can see it. Well, you can go over here <laughs> on, the, on the ground. U.S. See these snaps right here. This is what's throwing me off. Okay. Wood. They appear to just adjust. And let's say if we were to put something like this in here. Something like that, maybe. All the way true. Take, take these and tighten them up. But, back side, I have no idea how it would attach to a, an Alice pack or anything. That's where I just button them together. 
appears to be a handle. Yes. Wow. I'm, I'm really starting to think here. <laughs> It's hard trying to re re reverse engineer something. Now he knows he goes on a bag, so he just had to figure out what goes on what. Yeah. It's like a little harness. It's like carrying yeah. your your uh, sleeping bag. This is supposed to be a harness for your sleeping bag or your mat or your mat. Or does it hang on top or at the bottom? Uh, it depends on the the person who wants to put yeah, it on there. Depends. On the person, so it don't really matter. You figure it any way you want to. That will take a while. Get and I would really think this would, I would think this would wrap around. It seems like that's what it wants to try to do. It depends on the size of your pack. If it did that right there, then you'd have a perfect, and it just looks like this part right here would actually go through the backpack and snap, and I don't, I wouldn't trust that at all. <laughs> but it, what I'm saying is, it appears to me, and I may be wrong, and I hope I am, because that don't make sense. This would end up being kind of like you like got butt, that like a butt pack in a way. You got that right, but that don't go to the bottom. You don't go to the bottom. They go to the top, like top strap. It's top, like that. yes. The rest of the top. Okay. So I'm give, I gave, I gave, gave him two hints so far. This is what I can't figure out. You'd be surprised what that's for. So he has this part right. He had an idea about this, but I just told him it goes to the top. It goes to the top to the bottom. Uh, right. yeah, top of the uh, Alice rack. But this is a handle, right? Yes, that's a handle. The way it looks, it's a handle. That's correct. It's easy to grab, or if your if your comrade fell and you need to grab your comrade, you can grab this handle and pull him back to safety in a, in a battle of war. So always remember these Alice packs and Molly twos got these handles. If your comrade falls, you can grab his ass by his backpack and pull him. He has everything. <laughs> Except for this part. I didn't bring my Alice pack, but it's just a it's so simple to figure it out. Because I'm gonna make it work. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my Is it twisted? Yeah, I got it twisted. Let's see. It's because I had to overlap it to make the two snaps work. Okay, that one's right. I mean it's all right. Let's see. Anyway, that's kind of the idea I had. And let's check this side. And you got it's, a it's twisted. twisted you got untwisted. Right? You gotta make it look like it's it's made for it. Well, it's, it's not made for it. Not, nope. the way, not the way I've done it here because it's, because of the snaps. <laughs> because the snaps. Sure, what I'm about here. Because the snaps appear to snap upon themselves, I'm trying to use this in a way that's for which it's not intended. You got uh, the male and the female butt here. Here you got, make sure it's not twisted. You've got uh, a male and female button there. But they both lay in this direction, so they don't they won't attach. So you have to twist the strap and then connect them. So one side is gonna always be twisted. But for me, extra security. And then I would pull these tight to help suppress it. This would be your straps for I call it a fanny pack. It would hang off the bottom of here. But like in this demonstration here, which if I had a backpack, it would hang this area from my back. Then I'd walk around going, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I said you could put it on top. But that's the only guess I got which allows the U.S. logo to be on the outside. Well, he has this part right, but it goes to the top of your Alice pack. He has this part wrong. Wrong. And he has this right. He has this. This is made for a sleep system or extra roll, which is the thing right here I'm sitting on, to carry on your Alice pack. So, only thing he has to do is figure out what these two belts are for. Other than that would be... Correct. That's easy to take off. That's I mean, what these are for. Just out. pop it off. But it, does it go on the back? Yeah, it goes on the back of your Alice pack. Right here. Somewhere's in the middle. 
But this was strapped to some type of on your Alice pack. fastener on the front, on the shoulder, on the back. You can adjust it. And that's how I don't own one. The only thing left would be this deal. Those go on your pack for security to keep you, your pack from doing this when you're walking. Yeah. So he finally got it. This goes on the Alice pack itself. But this. Does it go around here to the back part, to the side of the pack? No, this goes about in the middle of the pack. Okay. So your backpack, lower it down some. Here, let's snap this and snap this one. It goes around about right there on your Alice pack. And this also harness into your Alice pack and you bring it tight and this is your system for your sleepwear or your mat. All right, well, he finally figured it out. <laughs> it's an Alice, Alice pack um, thing. You had the, the initials right. Always face that, if I'm not mistaken, up. The United States is always, a, you know this is true military because you have the U.S. logo on there. And a lot of times, the stitching. The stitching will also tell you. Man, that's high quality right there. That that dude. Let's take a look great. at this couple of stitches. They got yeah, the X they mark. Got, they got the the doubles and the X. It's like it, it, this part of the strap's gonna break before the stitching does. But that's, I mean, that's how good quality it is. And what look I'm impressed with is the handle. Yeah. How they looped that that strap together and made an actual handle. That it's kind of comfortable. It doesn't quite fit in my hand. No, but you can just open it. Yeah, it's you what know, you can open it up. It works though. And that's sweet. And this is and this. Of course, your buttons and snaps. Yeah, that goes on to your high quality. And this is what's neat. If you look inside there, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a wire, and it separates. So it's a real taut wire. And so when you and slap the crap out of, I think the dog crap out of him, and yeah, he, 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 he. <laughs> that's that's just nice. I just wanted to show him this uh, the uh, Alice strap, uh, the companion I call it, but this is it, and it goes like so, and this hooks onto your bag for more support and it'll keep it from flopping around on your back when you're yeah, walking. I was really thinking this. I, it, my first initial thing, to be honest. It appeared to be some type of old-fashioned compression strap to uh, compress your gear, especially like your, you know, to, to save space is what it appeared to be. And, uh, See, if these were off, he probably definitely would never know what that was. Yeah, it's kind of like, whoa. But, Always you know. remember, uh, for this, face your U.S. up, I'm sorry, down, when you're putting your pack together. This face is down, Put your bag in, strap your bag in, then after you flip it over, the US is facing up. So when you're ready to do this, I want to show you a real a, a quick a real quick demonstration how this works. Here you go, take it over the camera. Alright, basically, when you get this thing. Where's my drink? Save the drink, man. Save, Save the drink. drink. <laughs> you gotta, Sometimes you get these things just like this. You're like, what the hell is that? I know, it's kind of crazy. There's no instructions. Because <laughs> sometimes this old military stuff is like, they get it just like this. So well, you, that, that explains why they have to go to boot camp. They have to be instructed on how to use the stuff that's being made. <laughs> so basically, you might get it like this. Find the U.S., face it down. If you face it down, pick the item that you want to strap to your Alice pack. Then strap your uh, what item you want, your mat, your your uh your, I don't think they gave tents out back then during Vietnam or World War II, whatever this this uh, merchandise was made. But this is going so. And you got a little handle to carry it to where you need to go. And when you get your Alice pack, you pop these two off. And your Alice pack has these little loopholes on top. You loop it through and you snap it. 
you snap it back onto your uh, after you go through your Alex snap those two and then sometimes you want to put this on your bag first then you take this device here when your Alice has these little bitty bars you snap that bar It would be a bar like yeah, a little bitty bar on your Alice pack. Like the um. Then you tighten it yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You tighten it up where you need to be. You do the same thing on this side. You put it on the bar, and you tighten it up. You might want to do that first, then put your uh, your bag on. But if you got that first, and that's all you've done, and you're done. This is going to be on the inside, and it hangs on your back. It should hang about, about right there on your Alice pack. Some people put it on top, and some of them put them at the bottom. It's on you. You need to go on. But that's about how that works. And you just pick it up and carry it if you want to take it off. If your Alice pack says what these buttons are for, they're quick, easy to get off off your Alice pack. You pop this off and get it and you can take this off then you can get in your Alice pack and get anything else you need because there's three pockets on the front of the Alice pack and the top. So there you go. Alright, I'll read your cookie. Maryland did a little uh, test. Well kind of like a test, but he figured it out after a few, you know, hints and gibbets. Uh, how you how you think about this little device? Here. I like that. You know what? That the camo pattern on that bag matches your drawers. I mean, they're mad. You, you, it blends Wait, in. It I looks like I a. Got, I, it looks like a third leg. Almost. Holy, ma holy moly! Oh, look at this. Your jacket's alive. Yeah, look at this. Got the jacket on the floor. What? 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 It's a dirt. Oh my goodness! It's a dirt. <laughs> it's Sally the Bushcraft dog. All right, well there you go. I see you next time. And Barry, you're right about your uh, your 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 tent. <laughs> <laughs> it it's it's a horrible thing. I wouldn't recommend this tent to anybody unless you maybe in the military and you like a lot of water in your tent. Alright, alright, you give me and this is Amateur artist Mark D. Chandler wasn't from the See you next round.